You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. As some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with another Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings. Now y'all know who it goes by now. I'm an affiliate with Green Man Gaming. What that means is that there's going to be a link in the description. Y'all click that link, you get discounts on the latest and greatest games, and I get commission based on whatever y'all buy. Also, my lovely girlfriend Elle is taking commissions right now. If you want, if you're interested in throwing some money at her and, and getting a commission done, uh, I've got her FA and her Twitter linked in the description. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> the act of sending Reza and me here was, without a doubt, already cost the lives of some people back home. Beyond the city walls is a dead zone. We haven't heard from any other settlements for months now. The state of the rest of the world is unknown. When Reza and I were sent here, my peers made it clear that this was our last chance. If anything happens to us... No more people will be sent. If we can't manage to bring back something that will help, we'll have sealed the fate of tens of thousands that live in our city. Sorry, Keegan. I didn't know. If what you are telling me is true, it unfortunately does not work in your favor. As sad as your situation may be, it gives Reza a motive. Desperate times call for desperate measures, after all. In that vein, it also gives you a motive. Considering the gravity of the human plight, it gives you all the more reason to collaborate with him. I'm not. What Rez is doing is wrong. You can't send me away under these circumstances, but I'm your best bet at finding him. Even so, you will still be in grave danger after we announce Rez's involvement in the murders. I cannot and will not take responsibility for the consequences when I know of the risks. What about, your, what about our deal, then? In the wake of this new information, as a sign of goodwill, we will send the generators you are owed through the portal once this is over, under two conditions. Humanity must condemn Reza's actions, and we must reclaim the stolen PDAs. I've changed my mind. You should let Keegan stay here. I like how her eyes just very subtly change as a good touch. I cannot take your word under consideration in this matter, Chief. Taking into account Maverick's actions and your responsibility for them, you will have to be dealt with separately. Even with my authority as a minister in charge of the human visit, my decision is to have Keegan sent back to the human world through the portal. Please. Immediately. Chief, please arrange for an escort to take Keegan to the portal now. I could do it myself, Minister. Well, we have our own matters to discuss, Chief. I'd rather get that over with as quickly as possible. In that case, one of my officers should be here any moment. I've I arranged for him to meet us here. How handy. Then let us wait for this officer of yours. It didn't take long for Sebastian to arrive. As the situation was explained, he was visibly shocked, but didn't protest when he was given the task of sending me back through the portal. <sighs> Let's go! Let's go, Keegan! Don't I even get to say goodbye? Let us not waste any more time. You will still be free to send letters after you've arrived on the other side. Just go, Keegan. Come on, then! Oh, that's pretty. We were silent as Sebastian and I slowly made our way to the portal. With each step I took, I drew closer and closer to the hopelessness waiting for me in the ruins of the human world. All in all, I certainly had a unique experience alongside these dragons. And although this place was filled with just as much drama and murder as back home, I remember this world and all the people I met. I would finally think back to the days I spent in their comfortable standard of living, a shadow of how humanity used to be. Even without the generators, at the very least I'd be returning home with a few life lessons. What's going on here? Lost in thought, I hadn't even noticed Aideen approach. It's none of your concern. Please leave. Can I even get a few minutes before I go? I suppose nobody's stopping us, but make it quick. No. What's going on here? Something's happened. Looks like I have to leave. Right now? Why? This wasn't my decision. You'll all hear about it soon enough. You could at least have called me or something. I only found out about it out a few minutes ago. You didn't even call me back when I left you a message. Is that a normal thing humans do? Not calling back? I thought you had phone when we hung out in your apartment, but I guess I was wrong. Was I too pushy? That's not it. I think I kind of even liked you. Wait, does this have something to do with what, what I've been hearing about Reza being a murderer? Yes. Oh. What does that make you? I don't have anything to do with that. I was helping the police find him. Then why are you leaving? I can't stay here with all this going on. They're sending me back for my own safety. Fine. It was nice to get to know you, at least. A little. Likewise. I think I should be going now. Goodbye, Keegan. Goodbye, Aideen. I remember her. That was the witness from Reza's first murder. Did you know her? I see. Oh, there's the portal. Who built it, and why? 
A few minutes later, we arrived at the portal, standing proud as ever in defiance of the elements. How many years had the structure survived before it was found? I hope I can remember how this thing works. Are you joking? Yeah, sorry, I, I got it. Alright, I suppose it's time for us to say goodbye. Let's keep it professional. I don't like to mix personal matters with work. He looked away and I shrugged. Go ahead and turn on, then. Would you stand between the pillars, please? Of course. I took my place and stared toward the horizon while I thought about what would happen now, in this world and others. Even if I made a break for it, I'd become a fugitive, no, no better than Reza. It'd be near impossible to investigate the case by myself while on the run in a world I knew so little about. At the very least, I took comfort in the fact that I did everything I could to help, even if it turned out like this. Nevertheless, I dreaded going back empty-handed and returning to my old life in a ruined city. Any second now, the teleportation process would start, disintegrating my body before it would reappear on the other side, back in my dying world. I wonder if there was any risk of getting lost somewhere between worlds. We didn't really know how the portals worked, after all. Maybe it would be flung somewhere else in space-time, or it might affect my body in some way. I hadn't noticed any unusual changes in my body since I arrived in the Dragon's World, but I had no way of knowing if there were potential long-term side effects. I still remember the images I saw when I teleported the first time, the vivid sights and patterns. People in situations I've recognized since then. It only took a moment to arrive at the other side of the portal, yet it felt like I had dreamed a thousand dreams. And during the nights I spent here, these dreams had often reappeared. Any time now, I would undergo the same experience again. I was almost relieved that my adventure was over. Things had turned out far differently than I expected. I evaded danger, got swept into a murder investigation, met incredible intelligent beings from several different species. It had certainly been, time, been a time to remember. With that thought, I closed my eyes and braced myself for the moment that would come any second now. That moment never came. Next thing that did happen was that I heard Sebastian's voice. It's not working. Are you joking again? No, really, it's not working. Wait, what is this? Uh-oh. It's broken. Can you fix it? I don't think so. This doesn't look like a simple act of vandalism. It looks like some parts were torn out. I guess that means I'm not leaving, huh? Not yet, at least. Well, what do we do now? Let's head back. The chief has to know about this right away. They were back at the ministry before long. Emera and Bryce were still outside as Remy approached the two of them. Here are the case files, Emera. Why, thank you. Keegan and an officer... What's this about, Emera? This is something that I would like to know. Please, officer, enlighten me. Why has my order not been carried out? The portal is broken. It's broken? Yeah, it looks like someone tampered with it and stole parts. I couldn't even get the interface to turn on. We'll check it out once I'm done here. I suppose Keegan will stay with us for a little longer after all. Seeing how this is an emergency situation, I will make this short. Chief, as a result of your carelessness regarding Maverick and Reza, you are temporarily removed from any duties related to the humans. Given these dangerous times, you will instead serve as my personal escort until further notice. Considering the circumstances, you'll be allowed to coordinate the investigation of the portal, but after that, you are to immediately return to me to start your new task. Understood? Understood. Then all of you are dismissed. She turned to leave, Remy trailing after her. Alright, let's head to the portal. That includes you, Keegan. Of course. Out of the corner of my eye, I spotted a sheet of paper on the ground. Hey, what's this? Emma will probably drop one of the case files. Either her or her assistant. Better bring that to her. Sebastian and I should hurry to the portal. Meet us there afterwards, okay? Sure. Zip. I picked up the sheet and started reading. I was about it was about what had happened when I met Reza at the portal. Of course it didn't say anything I didn't already know. As I walked up the stairs, I wondered if it was okay for an unauthorized person to enter the building. All I knew about the place was that Emera worked there too. I did have an important document that was going to be missed, so I walked outside, only to be greeted by an empty lobby. Luckily, there were some signs directing me to Emra's office. It didn't take long to find it, and I heard voices when I approached the door. By the way, what happened to the scroll you brought me this morning? The last time I saw it, it did not have that tear. I dropped it. Tell me something new for once. Okay, someone else dropped it. Am I supposed to believe that? Remy, are you aware of how much this costs? Repairing and replacing artifacts is not cheap. I'm afraid we'll have to deduct this from your wage again. I see. You're not doing this on purpose, are you? Of course not! You have not you have been working for me for a long time now. I expected you to learn at least to learn at some point, but you are very resistant to do so. Not wanting to listen to this any longer, I decided to knock. 
There are a few se seconds of silence. Please come in. Ellie opened the door long enough to have me read a sheet of paper. Huh, sorry, Belle. I think he dropped this outside. After I closed the door and started to walk away, I heard the voices resume. This is from one of the case files you requested. You must have dropped it. Then why is it left out? Was it left outside? As my assistant, you should have paid more attention. If this got into the wrong hands, someone could get into trouble. Hmm. Interesting. The portal is really cool. I like the design. I made my way back to the portal and arrived shortly after Bryce and Sebastian. Well, I can confirm that it's not turning on. I told you that already. I just wanted to be sure. <laughs> he looks happy. You really think it, you really think it would still work with a chunk ripped out of it? Hey, I'm not an engineer. We don't know how the portal works. It was worth another try. There you are, Keegan. What do you make of this? I'm afraid I don't know any more than you do. I'm not an engineer either. In that case, we should start thinking about the who and the when. There are patrols assigned to the portal and surrounding area day and night. If someone tampered with the portal, they must have seen something. Today's day patrol didn't notice anything unusual, though. I guess you just missed the part about the portal being vandalized. It'd be easy to it'd be easy, easy to overlook. It's a small part of the machine. It's not like she was expected to fight, check every square inch of it with each lap around the area. Well, what about the night patrol then? When I went over the reports this morning, I noticed the night patrol hadn't handed theirs in yet. And who was patrolling last night? Let me think for a minute. The schedule always goes in a certain order, so last night would have been... Damn. Well, what is it? The night patrol for last night would have been Maverick. I got wrapped up in all the recent chaos and forgot to find a replacement for him when he went on sick leave. Maybe Emra was right to take me off the case. So there was no, right, so there was no night, gear, night guard here at all? That's right. Whoever, whoever it was had an easy time doing whatever they wanted. Could it have been Maverick? If he knew no one was going to be here, he could have used that knowledge to his advantage. He couldn't have known that I'd forget to find a replacement, though. I don't usually slip up like this. Well, what about Reza? Why would, why would he have done it? He'd be cutting off his only way out. No, he'd be doing something smart. If he has the part he needed to get through the portal working again, he's in control of who gets to use it. He's cutting off our ability to communicate with mankind. We wouldn't be able to inform of the... We wouldn't be able to inform them of Reza's actions. Maybe we shouldn't have kept the investigation secret for this long. If your theory is true, that would be proof that Reza's actions are his own, not humanity's. Hey, I already trust you on that. Or it's a stunt to grant humanity plausible deniability. No way. Things are too dire for the humans to take such an extraordinary risk. Especially for that. I'm sure that wouldn't be the only reason they'd benefit, though. There must be something we're not aware of. Maybe we're looking at this from the wrong angle. If no one was here to guard the portal, anyone could have broken it. It doesn't necessarily have, have to have anything to do with Reza or Maverick. But they still have gr the greatest motives. Sure, but they definitely aren't the only ones to have one. There could be private groups who are interested in the technology or its significance as a human artifact. So, this, so that puts us exactly nowhere. At least as far as speculation is concerned. It's about time for forensics to show up, anyway. Let's hope they can pull some clues from all this. Sebastian, can you take it from here? You've just been as you've just been as dedicated to the case as I have. Since I'll have to be at the minister's side for a while, I'd like you to charge. I'd like you to take charge of the investigation for now. Well, thanks, Chief. I, I won't let you down. <clears throat> What's up with that anyway? Being appointed by some as, as Emma's bodyguard as a punishment just seems strange to me. Are you kidding? I could have lost my job. This is a way better outcome. Honestly, she probably did it for her own sake more than anything else, but I'm not complaining. If that's all, I'm gonna head back to the Ministry. I, sh I shouldn't keep her waiting. <clears throat> so what does that make you now, Temporary Chief? More like Case Leader. By the way, you won't need to stick around while Forensics does their job. Thanks for your help. I assume you could find your way back to your apartment? Yeah, of course. Alright, I'll see you later then. See ya. See ya. I considered spending my free time roaming the town, but decided that it would be best to keep myself out of the spotlight. After cooking myself a rudimentary meal, I considered picking up another book when the doorbell rang. <clears throat> oh. oh, okay. Hey, Keegan. Hey, Sebastian. Do you need my help again? We're just a small town police department. When with Bryce removed from the case, our resources are thinner than ever. I understand. So what do you have for me? First up is the primary witness in the last latest murder, Damien, the victim's assistant. He was found. He was the one who found her body. A few things have changed since this morning, as we've gotten some additional information from forensics that warrants further questioning. I know you knew the victim personally, so you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'll leave the choice to you. You can find her assistant at the production facility. 
You seemed interested in that underground building found near the portal. I realize that you might actually be able to help us with that. Since it's suspected to be of a human origin, your opinion would be greatly appreciated. I guess I should add archaeologist to my resume. Maybe human matters consultant would be more appropriate. Do you really think it's okay for me to tamper with your priceless discoveries? Oh, you wouldn't actually go there in person. I just want you to take a look at the collected information in the archives and give us your opinion. Besides, no one is allowed to visit at the moment. Uh, the building is old and unstable, and there is danger of it collapsing or flooding. Obviously, don't want, we don't want either of those to happen. Flooding? Yes, the whole building is underground, and we've determined that there is a rather large pocket of water surrounding it. Any kind of disturbance could endanger everyone, everything and everyone inside. I see. We also located another witness for the latest murder. A store clerk reported seeing and hearing something, so it's probably worth it to ask him a few questions. Got it. Here are all the details. Uh, visit me at the department once you're done. It's your thing. It was interesting that they still relied on me for the investigations, even after they tried to send me back to my world. I didn't expect them to allow me to help with police matters after everything that had happened. Now that the possibilities of sending me back was eliminated, the advantages of having me on their side apparently outweighed the risks. Though I had to wonder who would have, had to, who would have to be more careful from now on. What should I do? This is a protection facility. Ugh. Oh man. Poor Anna. Aww! Cute! Um, hey, Keegan. Lorem, right? Yep. Did you get a chance to think about what I told you last time? Don't worry, I didn't lose your number. They keep me pretty busy, so I don't really have much free time. Well, if anything changes, give me a call. I will. Alright, guys and girls, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.